Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion.
I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Some Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. For me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries, that's all. Contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Time for fast forwards, whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Some Porter Bridges. Legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery.
Bridges' corpse disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges' corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Come and take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. They put all that Kyrillium in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out, too. Roll out! different when I was a kid. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started pulling up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Further to the incinerator. This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're gonna have to cut to the BTs.
engine stalled. Those assholes got us right where they want us. Get us out of here. Sam, you didn't see anything. No, nothing. BB must be busted or something.
Can you hear me? Steady. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. How does it feel to be back in the world of the living? Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Well, a coroner, originally. Call me Dead Man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. Contrary to the name, I've never actually died. I would advise against that. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Oh, us. Yup. Bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin, like this. Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. Cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days. During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the Annihilation. Game over, man. The place is a crater. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central Knot City. We're at our base in Capital Knot City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. 
Things here are a mess. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Huh. Uh, uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Uh, what's the other mark from? A clingy woman in a cave. <gasps> hmm. I see. Aphenphosmphobia. No wonder you were out there alone. Where no one could touch you. I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, uh, the job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer, in critical condition, but there's still time. Why me? <sighs> Look, Sam, do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here, oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah, here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. Ah, the truth, Sam is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Very good. I'll see you in the isolation ward. signs are all trending the same way. No chance of a recovery, then? None that I can see. No. We should start making preparations. Sam! It's me. Dead man. Sorry. My mistake. I'm afraid the President's condition has deteriorated. Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Her? Huh? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside.
that's the president's right-hand man, the director of bridges. Die hard man. Oh, you were with Bridges One. So, I guess no introductions are necessary. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Madam President, we've brought Sam. We'll leave you two alone. Sam, I knew you'd come back. Are you doing all right? Took her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie. She needs you. <laughs> Together, you you can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. Bridget, you're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. Uh, uh, you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> Madam President! Oh, no. Doctor, we need your help. Responding. Stay with me. Madam President. 
Listen, no one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now what happened here does not leave this room, do you understand? Yes, Director, but there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered. Sam, before she died, the president made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me? Like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question. And there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the president's body has to be burned. The road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. And the only way there is on foot, through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's gotta be BTs. This job has requirements. Tombs. Repatriate. So me? Why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Now get it done, Sam Porter Bridges. President Strand believed in American Reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. She deserves a funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. If she dies, America dies. Without her, bridges will cease to be. Listen. Her cremation must be carried out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? Who's gonna take her place? Face it, America's history. Sam, America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you.
for you on the beach. The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy carrying a body up there. We'll be monitoring you around the clock. If anything comes up, we'll offer you support via the couplings. Void out. 
you'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. back. When someone with dooms hooks up to a BB, your feelings and memories cause feedback, like with the speaker. It amplifies fears and stress, and runs the risk of taking you to a place from which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BB has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. Sam, get cleaned up and come to the president's office. We need to talk. Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. What the hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the President. It's almost time to go, Sam. Keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Good morning, 
things, Sam? Sam, this is Di Hartman. There's a private room set aside for your use. Bridges perk. Take a moment to clean up, wash all that chirelium off, then come to the president's office. Well, Sam, thank you. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America, Reconstructionism, her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope, our new America. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then, about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll reestablish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No. I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won. And went west. them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw them coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. 
Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edge Not City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere. Plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force, by men who tell them what to do, who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. Would you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together, to form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! Hold on. Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once, it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. <laughs> or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another.
Sam. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, not, not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond, while stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away. But our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Have you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring chiral communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past.
All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. It won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true? They finally got it working? Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? <laughs> the cat. 
capital, not city, confirmed. It's really happening. What? <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, uh, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. Guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first, start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. 
We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul. And also my research, as it happens. Sam, this is Hartman. Deadman will lay your request to me, and I oversee BT research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on a BT. You study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids. Waste products. Dry relic. Dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam. I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? 
There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Curiosity. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Hmm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Chiron printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look.
About time we did our part. Thanks again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. You're a one-man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edgenaut City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind farm. I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. I never met her in person. But it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so, huh? Sam, got a moment? I ran an experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon, and when it is, we'd like you to test it. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We've almost got the whole region on the Cairo network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. Oh.
show you the real thing soon. I promise. same way as your car is rejected by the beach. Your blood can be used to expel BTs from our world and return them to the other side. <sighs> You've given us hope, Sam. Perhaps we may yet be saved. <clears throat> Sam, it's Hartman. Your friend and fellow doomed sufferer. <laughs> uh, um, our affliction, such as it is, began with the beach, or rather, our discovery of it. Once, the question of life after death was answered only by religion and philosophy. But when we learned of the beach's existence, death became something more tangible. No, the living soon walked the shores of the afterlife, while dead things, beached things, began to find their way back. And then came dooms, and with it a host of theories advanced by physicians and psychologists, desperate to explain the world's newest mystery. The symptoms were duly categorized and stratified into levels. But repatriates like you are a singularly rare breed, worthy of a classification all your own. The specialists must have been climbing over one another to get a look at you. <laughs> I wonder what they found. say with the little guy he came with the pod if you gotta know and who'd you get the pod from igor from corpse disposal my little brother so what he just gave one of these to you why i was there with him at the end we were moving a body things went to shit there's bts everywhere and one of them grabbed him. So he told me to take it and run. That's uh, right. So what's your story? You lived through a catastrophe like that only to keep on doing the same work? Okay. Been a long time coming, I suppose. You take good care of that little guy. He belongs with the expedition. With you. All right. Sam, you've done it. Port Knot City is back on the grid. This community, a part of the UCA. Their data, a part of our shared wisdom. With enough time and enough cargo printers, they'll be able to build ships. And one day, the waters will be ours again. All because you led the way. Though what follows in your wake isn't always good. Any city that joins the UCA becomes a bigger target for the terrorists. But we have to accept the dangers and press on. No matter what. The rest of America is waiting, Sam. Waiting for you to take the first step and connect them to the chiral network. I know you can reach them. Make us whole again. Thanks. One more C in the UCA, huh? So, you fix it across the lake and head west? Yeah. We got a boat? No. 
Not for years now. Terrorists took out everything, bridges, and floats. Only boat in town belongs to a private courier. Private courier? Don't tell me. Fragile Express? That's the one. I already spoke with their rep. I'm having them load the boat with some of the supplies you brought us. I'll bet the folks in Lake Knott will be tickled pink to see someone come into port. Been a while, I expect. Head on down to the harbor when you're ready. It's right outside the distro center. Don't worry, Fort Knott never gets the rain. Feel free to rest up in your room before you head out. So it was you that dragged him into all this. <laughs> Bloodied but unbound. chosen to take mommy's place. Well, that won't wash. She's not cut out for politics, is she? Oh, but don't worry. I'll find her. And I'll keep her real safe. <laughs> you see, I've come to understand the truth of the Death Stranding. so much you people don't know. The girl, for instance. She's not like you or me. Dooms ain't her thing. And she's more into destruction on a worldwide scale. An extinction entity. Oh, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Now you, you're no bridge. To me, I'm bound to all of it. This world, that world, and our sweet little angel of death.
snack. You came through then. I don't break that easy, name notwithstanding. You saw that asshole too, right? Higgs, he's the leader of a separatist group. Seemed to me like he was controlling that BT. That's a level seven for you. Higher, maybe. Seems like you know a lot about him. Used to work together. Guess you could say we had a contract. You did business with terrorists? Whoever pays, huh? He wasn't like that back then. So what's your angle? You want to save the world, or you want to fuck it all up like him? I wish I... I just wish things were different, all right? Here's all right. Don't worry, she still floats. Come on, we're the only cargo left. We should get there tomorrow. I told you before, Sam. The past just won't let go. Listen, I have something to ask of you. It has to do with that asshole, Higgs. Do you remember? It's almost time to go, Sam.
I had no idea until you told me. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. Poor woman. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Did you forget how to go home? Come on. I'll take you halfway. And then you can do the rest by yourself. Better now? I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. We used to play together a lot in this place. You brought me here. I couldn't make the trip on my own. So long as you have a body to return to, you can't come and go as you please. So you can't just come back east through here? Not until you make us whole again, Sam. I'll be waiting for you, on the beach. Come and find me. I don't know how you sleep. Need to pick me up? Hmm. Welcome to Lake Knot City. What? Nothing. Let's go. Cargoes from Port Knot City, bound for Lake Knot. I'll leave these up to you. The dispatch terminal is up ahead. In the meantime, I've got some business to attend to. Later, alligator. Sharing makes everyone safer. I'm all for it. You can bet I'm not the only one here who feels that way. I suppose it was better when Bridges One first came this way. At least I don't remember terrorists and BTs making our lives difficult back then. Well, be careful out there. The world's not what it used to be. And thank you. Finally made it past Ground Zero, Sam. Congratulations. And thank you. It'll only get harder from here, though. When we first came through, it was different. Peaceful. The three cities out there, Lake, Middle, and South Knot, 
We're all on board with our plans for reconstruction. Fragile Express was contracted by all three and kept supplies moving and people connected. But that all changed a year ago when the Separatists carried out their attacks. One took out Middle Knot City. They detonated nukes from the old days. Half of South Knot City went up in the other. Casualties were devastating. Bridges doesn't have the resources to link up the remaining cities on its own. We need to secure the support of everyone, even those who want nothing to do with the UCA. Impossible as that may seem. The situation has changed dramatically since Bridges 1 first went west. The destruction of Middle Nod in particular forced us to adapt a new strategy. It's like Amelie said, we don't have the time or resources to construct another knot on that scale. That's why we've taken to cutting deals with preppers and the like. Our only recourse is to utilize their shelters to bolster the strength of the network. It takes a special kind of person to live out here on their own. The kind that'll tell us to fuck off if we ask them to join the UCA. Oh, we know. No one's expecting them to say yes up front. But even if they don't like dealing with most people, they got on okay with Fragile Express. Don't tell me. You want us to use her credentials to get in good with them? Bingo. She's agreed to it, too. And in exchange, she gets... Nothing, really. A chance to get back at Higgs, I suppose? I can't blame her for warning one. He took everything from her and then some. Time healed some wounds, but... not hers. The work ahead won't be simple or easy, but it needs doing. Get some rest for now. We'll talk more later. a keeper. It means not in old words. You can also use it to count stuff. I had a knot when I make a friend. Okay. Then how about I add another knot every time I see you? This must be very important to you if you were able to bring it here. Very special. It is special. I made it for you. I'll treasure it, Sam. Something to eat? Why are you here? Ask your boss man. I mean, why are you here? Got a delivery for a porter. You're gonna need this on the road ahead. This will ID you as an associate of Fragile Express. It's woven from my blood and chiral crystals. Think of it as a kind of bond. Preppers around these parts won't give you trouble so long as you've got it. We were the only people making deliveries out here. This was our territory. Until Higgs fucked it all up. Me? The Express? Our reputation? All of it. And now you want to fuck them back? On your own? I'm not on my own. The cave. Port Knot City. Next to your bed. So far apart, yet somehow we keep meeting? All that BT country in between where I should have been caught in a void out. Yet here I am. Here I am. You can use the beach? I have a beach. You've got yours. 
I've got mine. I use it to jump across space. I can't conjure out BTs the way Higgs can, but I can go after him, chase him to the beach. Problem is, everyone's got their own way in. I'm only allowed to pass through the beach I know and understand. I'm sure you've heard the term multiverse. You all right? The jumps take a lot out of me. Set my blood dry. You're going to Edgenaut City, right? Place is full of terrorists. But if you're dead set on it, then you're gonna have to deal with heat sooner or later. Look, I make deliveries, killing monsters and terrorists. It's not what I do. What if we did it together? I could use my power to help you. We don't have to want the same thing to be on the same side. I could send you across my beach. To any place the Kyrelians thick enough. Any place connected to the Chiral network. And what do you expect in return? I expect you to think it over. Here. Call it an incentive. And call me if you need me. This will keep us connected. See you when I see you. So, where do you want to go? Close your eyes. Picture it in your mind's eye. Don't be shy. Just like we used to. Come on. Keep up. Sorry. Did I wake you up? Today is mommy's birthday. for the anniversary of when we first met. Sam, to review. Your present objective is to extend the Cairo network from Lake Knot City to South Knot City. To that end, you'll need to utilize prepper shelters as way stations. Frankly, it won't be easy. Fragile's tried to get some of them on board. But you know how preppers are. More than a few won't want anything to do with the UCA. So we've got to prove to them they're better off with us. Figure out what they need and what we can provide, and then deliver. Do that, and they just might agree to join us. All right, get to it. The list of orders is on the terminal. I need you to understand something. It's about Fragile. You might have heard she helped terrorists. That she didn't care who got hurt. But I'm telling you, that's gotta be bullshit. Her and her people put their lives on the line to get us what we needed. She's a hero through and through. Look, I was born in this shelter. The only world I've ever known is within these walls. So when people talk about America, I can't even begin to imagine it. But if that Cupid connects me to everyone else, I won't have to. So yeah, I want to join the UCA. I want to see what I've been missing. And with that, my standalone 3D printer is capable of chiral printing. 
Assuming it works, the Evo Devo unit should enable me to replicate all kinds of archived objects. We can rebuild America one piece at a time. In the meantime, I can use the network to see what's going on in the cities. Track mule and terrorist activity. It's like you brought me the whole wide world in that package. Thank you, Sam. Let's do business again. Oh, yeah. I've got a little something I'd like you to put through its paces. An assist unit I developed myself. Works perfectly in sim trials, but I need someone to test it out on solid ground. And if it makes your job a little easier, all the better. Ah, so you're here on behalf of Fragile Express. Please tell me you put the terrorists behind you. When Fragile, the daughter of the Founder, started associating with other couriers, things started getting scary around here. Rumors say that she caused the explosion at Middle Knot City, and there's a part of me that believes it. Of course, she could be just another one of their victims. Are you connecting the Chiral network? I don't mind the contract with Bridges, but I'm not going to join the UCA. Go ahead if you're fine with that. Maybe you already heard it from Fragile, but preppers who don't want to be a part of the UCA can still sign a contract with Bridges to join the network. They get to use our delivery services and other basic Cairo network infrastructure, much like our full members. Similarly, you'll be able to use their Cairo printing facilities to replenish your supplies. They are not, however, obligated to exchange data with us. So don't expect them to share intel or help with the development of new tech. In an ideal world, everyone would be a part of the UCA, of course. But failing that, we want everyone to at least be a part of the network. They can always change their minds after the fact. The Cupid will interface differently with the terminal depending on the type of contract. So connect your Cupid to confirm. The company just got too big. In times like these, we should all keep it close and tight. That goes for couriers, too. Otherwise, we'll just make the same mistakes. Republics, federations, coalitions, states. Connecting all kinds of people together. It's just asking for trouble. Sorry. It's been a while since I last talked to anyone. Travel safe. See you around, Zen. What's your angle, anyway? Everyone knows Fragile was behind the attack that wiped out Middle Knot City. Only a damn fool trusts that terrorist to deliver shit now. But here you are, filling in. Keeping her business alive for her, am I right? <laughs> I swear. Can't trust anyone these days. And don't try sweet-talking me onto your little network. You know why there's been so many terrorist attacks recently? Because you all pissed them off with your talk of reuniting the country. Join the ECA. I may as well paint a bullseye on my shelter. Just keep my deliveries coming. We'll get along just fine. I don't need any trouble. Though I will say, I appreciate these hematic grenades of yours. Quality work, gotta admit. And not the sort of equipment the UCA ought to keep to itself. There's a lot of freelance porters operating in these parts, after all. If I could churn these out by the boatload, and gear up those folks. Now you're good people. I can see that. And you brought my order like I asked. But it'll take more than that for me to agree to what you're asking. Chiral Network is a big step. But if you could prove to me Bridges is an organization I can trust, hmm. How about this? Do another run for me. I'll put the details on the terminal there. What? actually went into that hello. <sighs> you, you don't know what this means to me. Whole lot of memories in these old tools. The kind of stuff you can't replace with a chiral printer. I I was giving you an impossible mission. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Whether you see the weapons I make with these. Sam Bridges, you are incredible. Thank you. You know, to be fair, Fragile and her crew never did me wrong. 
could say I owe them even. If they're running with Higgs now, then that makes them as bad as him, don't it? It's as if all the motherfucking terrorists are coming together like one big happy family. <laughs> Might be time for us to do the same. Maybe there's hope for us after all. <laughs> At least if there's more folks like you in the UCA. Safety in numbers, huh? And the new America to boot. Connect me to the Chiral Network. Sam, you've brought three way stations into the fold. The preppers are on the grid and the chiral network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs and mules hit the transport on the way back. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mules' drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. Welcome, welcome. The Arab man said to expect you. Got the server. Here, let me have a look at it. Nice. The great deliverer comes through again. The server's in perfect condition. It's a real relief to know all our records are safe. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. You'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs? Thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it, though. Just ask her and judge for yourself. I'd like it or not, we need her help. Sam, it's fragile. A year you brought three preppers into the network and delivered everything they needed. That's some good work. Long as we're shooting the shit, you mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it, in person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? Yo, Sam Porter, then? Been expecting you. We were told you'd help with the ball testing, too. But before we get to that, let's see how she's doing. Hmm. Pretty as a picture. Got nothing bad to say. These bots aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the distro center linked up already. And there it is. 
I'll start prepping for the tests. You sit tight and wait for HQ to ring. Much obliged, Sam. Now the bots can enter the final phase of testing. I designed them myself, you know. My hope is that they'll lighten the load a little bit. Unlike human quarters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. Before the Death Stranding, scientists used to fret over the singularity, the possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human. But it never happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. Now we wait for the delivery bot to reach its destination. As of today, there's just one, but if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for field testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone, from folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one, too. Head for the private room. Go on. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. <sighs> Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Higgs made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. 
business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow, they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true. Except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins, and I'm completely locked out of BB-28 service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Higgs said fragile up. He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Nut City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. Hello. Sam Bridges, right? We've been expecting you. The gauge you brought is going to save a lot of lives. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh, wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Thank you. Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. You mind doing the honors? I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chiralium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on chiralium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. 
The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the chiral network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. Could be useful when plotting your routes. All right, you've made it. Let's get that safe house built. You good to go, Sam? First, equip your PCC and select safe house. <laughs> This safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who'll use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station, but the people they help and the people they help. We're all connected to someone else, Sam. But you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest there. Your work is great. Keep us safe. <sighs> Man like you. the weather is akin to predicting the future. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger, but we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like, and our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. We reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and the now. Thank you. Bridges has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? 
Without me, did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know Fragile, would you? If you see her, pass along a message for us. Tell her, thanks for saving our hides. If she hadn't stepped up, South Knots and our farm would have been wiped off the face of the earth. She's a hero. And you can tell her I said so. All right, the network. Think you can get us online? Ah, oh, thank you. Now to start really using Timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but... Without the ability to predict Timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The Timefall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Not jobs. And their buddies at Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time. Like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? As far as I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. And nothing you say will convince me otherwise. So take your Cupid and fuck off. Well, okay then. Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Now, he seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery terminal and see what he wants. What do we have here? A delivery? For me? This is in great shape. Excellent work. Ah, the infamous chiral network. I'll agree to a trial run, but just of the network. UCA is a whole other matter. So you can connect me, yes? Well, okay. Go ahead then. Hmm, interesting. I'll think about joining the UCA at a later date. I have something for you. A token of my appreciation. Take it. I insist.
You actually managed to get the goods out of there? That takes balls. And would you look at that, Hall? You're definitely a cut above those fragile express goons. Let me guess, the great deliverer, am I right? Thought so. You know, those ruins you went to wouldn't be ruins if Fragile hadn't fucked us over. Bridges, too. All that talk of rebuilding the country. It's just stirring folks up. My girl would still be alive if it wasn't for you people. She was there. When the terrorists tried to take out South Knot, she was already dead. Because of you. He's wrong. She's in a shelter southeast of the ruins. Mind if I take over? If he's not coming outside, then it doesn't matter who he yells at over the wire. And I'm guessing he'll feel better taking it out on me. Hey, Bridges. Fragile says my girl's alive. And I'm just supposed to believe her? After what she did? Hell no. You're gonna need to prove it. And there's only one way out. I'll give you something to take to this woman you found. She says it's hers. You bring her back here to me. Take this with you, too. It's a skeleton I made that improves stability and mobility. Threw together some of the parts I've got lying around. Just so we're clear, I'm only giving it to you because I want to make absolutely fucking lutely sure you complete this delivery. If my girl's still alive, then when she sees what you're carrying, she'll want you to bring her here. You do right by me. I'll do right by you. Uh, are you with Fragile Express? No. You're a Bridges Porter, aren't you? I'm not expecting a package. Oh, it's nothing dangerous, is it? Oh, my lord. I never thought I'd see this again. Let me have a closer look. Thank you. It's got a few nicks, but nothing that can't be fixed. I still can't believe it survived. So, I'm on the one and only Chiral Network now. That's wonderful. I'm happy to be a part of the UCA. You'll drop by again, won't you? Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorists attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. So when she said that he died, I believed her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. I should never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. 
I'm ready to go. Right now, if you want, just say you take me. I'll hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. Are you hurt? Thanks, Bridges. I can't believe you're alive. That's my line, silly. I thought you were dead. My mom told me you were. I kept it close, always. But after the attack, it stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on, like forgetting you. Well, now we can both move on, together, you and me, if you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. They don't pedal junk. He fixed the things, made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece we don't need. <laughs> the only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count some moments ourselves together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. I will. I do. Yes. <laughs> Don't hate mom, please. Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. <laughs> Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time.
we will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down. I swear. I'll never forget you. Thank you. is connected to the Cairo network now. Head for the next area. To connect South Knot City, you'll need to make a delivery from Lake Knot City. Huh? Not sure I follow. Why not just get them on the network? Let them print what they need. Because you can't print everything. You do know that, right? Food, medicine, organic compounds, that blood of yours that's proven so effective against BTs, none of that can be sent by the network. Only the old-fashioned way. The people of South Knot have been struggling ever since the last attack. Now, if they're to survive, they'll need all the supplies Lake Knot can spare. Head back there and pick up the order. By the way, sometimes you might find yourself traveling home empty-handed, right? Wasted trip, I say. Make the most out of it by making sure you've always got an order on your back. For instance, one just came in from the junk dealer. A joint request from him and the Cairo artist, looks like. I think it'd be in everyone's best interest if you took it on. Check the terminal for details. Heads up, Sam. I'm detecting abnormal Cairo levels to the north of South Knot City. The numbers indicate heavy timefall in the area. It appears to be some kind of storm, but nothing like anything I've ever seen before. Though, truth be told, I can't actually see it either. The storm should be right outside my lab, but with the baby, I'm in no position to investigate. Doesn't seem to have done any real damage yet, but would you mind looking into it for me? Just be sure to keep your distance, all right? Listen, I know you've got a lot of stuff to carry, but if you have room for a little more, there's um, something I want to give you. There's something we'd like you to have. This is for you. You got room for it? Hello? Hello? Oh, a delivery. Oh, you certainly aim to impress, don't you? If there was such a thing as a porter on a roll, your name would surely be at the top. So, here's stuff you brought. Motor and a pouch. They're not like our usual supplies. New designs, like you heard. To think a joke to you, I made this. I heard he was a pro, but even so, it's impressive work. I'll notify HQ and try to expedite evaluations. Hey, just got the evaluation results from the people at the distro center for those prototypes you dropped off. Looks like both caught their eye. The motor, for one, was impressive. They really couldn't believe it was made from scrap. It can be fitted to a modified truck and be ready to go in no time. They contracted the junk dealer straight away and got it added to the list of supplies that can be fabricated. They had good things to say about the pouch, too. The contract has already been made, and you'll find the pouch in your private room. If you want to customize your backpack, you'll need to drop by one anyway. Anyway, I hope you appreciate what those two did for you, and give this new gear a try. Wow, great! You made it! I told myself there were bound to be a few scratches, but looks like I was wrong. Can you make it official? 
Whenever I mention your name to my partner, he gets all excited and starts talking about how much he wants to meet you. He's pretty interested in the chiral network too, totally on board with it and everything. But I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strings, if that's an option. If it is, then would you mind doing the honors? Hey, Sam. Sam Bridges. Uh, welcome to our summer home by the falls. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks for making the trip. I've always wanted to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter's a member of the weasel family. I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. <laughs> Man, you are tough. Hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Oh yeah, they eat, sleep, even give birth all in the water. The only thing they can't do in the water is drown. <laughs> Such good swim swimmers, say. Ah. Wow, you laugh about as much as this guy. Hey, by the way, you should have this. It'll help you on your way. Yeah, don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. <laughs> Come on. Come on, otter one? That's pretty good. Come on. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. She's amazing. It's triple stitched. That's got silk. She's incredible. Wear it and you too can ride the river rapids without fear. <laughs> Unless you're afraid of looking too sexy. <laughs> oh, right? Really? Still nothing? You know what? Fine. Just go. Just go, okay? Yeah, and make the river your friend. That'll be fun. There's something we'd like you to have. This is for you. You got room for it? The people down in South Nut City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. They've not been receiving supplies regularly, either. No one's starving. Not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, organic chemicals, and anti-BT weapons laced with your blood. None of which can be sent via a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help you out. Fragile's at the distro center south of Lake Knot if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. By the way, chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on Cupid functionality. No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? Good work, Sam. The weapons you've recovered are something the techs have been calling sticky guns. Anyway, none of this is on you. We should have kept a closer eye on them in the first place. Let's check the cargo. Great. Most of them are accounted for. Thanks to you, we've kept the damage to a minimum. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I've got a 
present for you, Lisa. <laughs> oh, Cliff, you shouldn't have. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh look. Sabini. Lovely. What about you, little one? <laughs> Would you like me to open it? Oh, oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? A spaceman. Got to give my body his present too. We needing this anymore. I'm done fighting. You're all that matters to me now, so I'm gonna stay right here with you. My friend will know what to do with this one. Well, Merry Christmas. Ho 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 ho. Sam, Bridges, I presume? Okay, sorry about that. The uh, system seems to be on the fritz. Uh, one of the packages wasn't processed properly and got left out of the order. It says here the client is fragile herself. Someone double tagged it so the system couldn't tell whether it's for Fragile Express or Bridges. <sighs> Anywho, really sorry for the holdup and uh, careful. Contents are fragile. <laughs> yes, okay. Sam Bridges, I presume? It says here the client is fragile herself. Careful, the contents are fragile. Son of a bitch, it was him. What are you talking about? The package I picked up for you, the one from Lake Knot. Hold on, I wasn't expecting any package. He said Fragile herself was the client. The system was down, so some Bridges delivery guy had to hand it over in person. Who? Look, the point is, it was Higgs. Come on, I need to see it now. It's a nuke! Not again. 
do this to me again. The timer's already started. I can't stop it. We only have one option. Sam, we've got to get rid of it. Take it down to the crater next to South Knot. It's a tar pit. Damn near bottomless. If we chuck it in there, we just might have a chance. of the crater lake to your map. Get the nuke there ASAP and dispose of it. Sam, you're at the lake, aren't you? Hurry up and get rid of that goddamn nuke. Jesus, that was close. You saved the city and everyone in it. I love a lot more than I ever did. Maybe there's no way of saving Metal Knot. But South Knot's still here. Because of me. And you. By the time I realized what Higgs was planning, the nuke was already at the city gates. I followed the delivery truck and somehow managed to carry the bomb to safety. But Higgs had been on to me from the start. He caught me red-handed outside the gates, nuke still cradled in my arms like a child. So, as punishment, he strips me down to nothing, and then he makes it rain. Listen up, Fragile. I got a proposition for you. Do you want to live out your days as damaged goods? Or would you rather take damage for the goods? Get to the point. All right. If all you want is to save yourself, you just have to jump. However, if you want to see this altruistic streak of yours through, then you'll have to carry my nuke to the bottomless pit and toss it in. Oh, sure, you'll be the city's savior. But you will have to walk naked through Timefall to do it. Trade a lot of your time for a little bit of the city's? <laughs> Hell, seems like a fair exchange to me. I don't much care for my face. That's why I hide it. Oh, but you. Oh, you 
just love yours, don't you? I bet Daddy was real proud. Oh. Now, don't worry. I won't mess it up. See, I want your face to be a kind of testament. Why did you do it? Why did you betray me? Because I found someone who completes me. Someone who doesn't need me to wear a mask. Oh. <clears throat> Word to the wise. <sighs> Even if you do save South Knot, You'll always be the nut job who blew up Middle Knot. Oh, and that pretty face of yours will always be remembered as the face of a terrorist. They'll never stop hunting you. Believe me, I know. Oh, they can slap a sticker on you, but you're still gonna break in transit. Oh. So... What's it gonna be? Hmm? I'll take the damage and the goods. I don't break that easy. <laughs> ah, well, good luck with that. I'll take the damage. I don't break that easy. I'll take the damage and the goods. I don't break that easy. Sam, that choice I made, I've regretted it ever since. All I had to do was jump, and I could have saved myself. But instead, you saved a city. And more than that, you gave people hope. Well, now there's only one person left for me to save. I'm gonna make Heats regret he ever crossed me. By killing him? Can't. He's way more powerful now than he was before. But you could take him. You could. But promise me. Promise me you'll leave him alive. There's something I want to ask him to his face. I didn't think you were capable of torture. I'm now. And I want to know why he betrayed me.
Do you want it? Forget about the supply runs to South Knot City. Outstanding, Sam. Now let's get your cargo to South Knot City and put those people on the network. Sorry about the mess. I got caught in the rain. Oops. Didn't mean to give you a shower. I tried waiting it out, but when I checked the time. I'm sorry. Should have come sooner. sudden service interruption. Whatever's causing it could pose a threat to the not cities. Get out there and investigate. Have a pleasant journey.
the distribution center at the storm blinked out, just like that. Chiral density dropped almost as fast. I got caught in the storm and I was in a war zone. You've been daydreaming, Sam? Comms were only down for a second. No, it was much longer than that. There was this soldier, he tried taking my BB. If you say so. <laughs> the little one can vouch for me. Sam, it's been less than a minute since we last spoke. I can't be right. I was there for... for hours, it felt like. Maybe you should rest a bit. Never mind. Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. Yeah, I know. you kid, right? Be careful, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while since I've had company. Sam, proceed to Mama's lab. Mama was part of the Cupid R&D team. However, from the start, she had concerns about its long-term viability. Felt Cupid's had fundamental flaws which might explain the strange phenomenon you experienced and the spike in chiral density. You should pay her a visit. See what she has to say. Glad you made it.
He's hungry. What the? Shh. There, she's down. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. So about the supercell. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. And that's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times? HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. <laughs> Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelli. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so... I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse cause another death stranding. Uh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a Cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. Hey, 
Maybe the other side wants her back. Or maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. Then the terrorists hit us. under the rubble. Nothing to do with Wait. And wait. <laughs> Felt like forever. But no one came. They said air. And water. went by the water ran dry and the cold set in <sighs> I gave birth there in the rubble But instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. All right. When the time fall stopped, my baby started to cry. She cried, cried, cried. Her life was the price I had to pay to survive. She saved me. ever since but she's a bt the ties that bind her to this place bind me too you could say i've never really been discharged and you're okay with that i mean you know she's gone you want to live your life in the shadow of the dead come on <laughs> you of all people you chose the dead over the living why else would you be here I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already believed me in my sleep. A bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want to run a test. Mama, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Um, would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But 
It's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. Sam, your next objective is to bring Mountain Knot City into the network. And this route will take you to a way station and on to a distro center north of the city. From there, it gets tricky. You'll have to take a detour to get around the mountains. Still want me using this Cupid on the way? Software's not been rewritten yet. It's fine. If you link up Mountain Knot City after your Cupid is fixed, the update should filter through the network, stabilizing the connection. It's just one more reason to get there ASAP. But for now, make do with the Cupid you've got. Uh -huh. Any word from Amelie? None. We'll just have to hope she's all right and keep going. It's what she would want. <sighs> anyway, check in at Lake Knot City Southern Distro Center before you hit the road. And good luck out there. By the way, Sam, I've added a zipline schematic to your PCC. Figured it would come in handy. All you need to set one up is at least two anchors. Why bother carrying cargo across a river or up a steep hill when you can just send it through the air? Am I right? If you want a little hands-on experience, you can use the anchors outside my lab. Have yourself some fun. The good news is, Fragile's available and willing to lend you a hand. If you want Fragile to send you, you'll need to head to a private room. South Knot City looks closest from what I can see. It'll be a lot quicker than walking, that's for sure. But you can't take any cargo with you, so there's that. It's up to you. Just remember the options there if you need it. Oh, you must be Sam Bridges. That one-man expedition team? We may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the Great Deliverer, the BT Buster, the terrorist, uh, Stopper. Ah, I'm still working on that last one. <clears throat> well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Whoa, incredible! This'll be a huge help. Thanks. You're not gonna even recognize the way station when we're through. All right. All we need now is to get Jack into the network, am I right? Man, it sure feels good to be part of the UCA for real. We've been literally marooned on an island for way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is gonna take some work, but I'm feeling revved up and ready to go like never before. We won't let our country down. Thanks, Sam. And good luck out there. Not that you need it. You're gonna hit the West Coast before you know it. Good work, Sam. Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Now'd be a damn good time to do it, too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Info still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident, and we've got injured in need of assistance. Check the delivery terminal for details. Thank you so much. Our med team should have no trouble patching them up now. You're a lifesaver. Thank God. Another moment and I don't know where we'd be. Wasn't an accident, by the way. It was an attack. Someone slipped explosives into a parcel we processed. Separatist assholes think this land is theirs for the taking. They may be right. Any one of us could have handled that package. Fuck me. We have to be more careful. Beef up our security. At least we didn't lose anyone this time. Thank you, Sam. Really. I, uh... I hear the chiral network is coming along. You think the signal's strong enough to reach us here? Oh, I hope so. Give it a try. Huh? It worked? Oh, oh, that's great. We've been starving for info. And if we run into any more trouble, we can get the word out sooner. I can't thank you enough. All right, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out.
Amelie! Higgs and his people came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your Kipu, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork. But I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the President himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. The people of Mount Anon City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, 
and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would have figured that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right. Enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Knot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city? That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lachna, hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network, and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Sam, thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. 
BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void off. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, She's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No, that part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lachna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. Break some dies to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it.
xem Thiệt nhiều cũng đâu ạ Mẹ Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light. Touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Surprise, prepped in everything. But it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. crushed by a bridge. Still have nightmares about it. Still hear the crack before it all came tumbling down. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. And, yeah. I know how that must sound, considering our employer. <sighs> I'm scared of the dark, too. Don't sleep anymore. Can't. Me, I remember being inside the womb. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers and Loch Ness. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. But then they tried to separate us with surgery. The operation was successful. We were still one. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. Joy to her joy. Her pain was my pain. And no distance was too great for us to overcome. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body. Joined in spirit. We had a beach just for us. One we shared. Our own private chiral network, I would <sighs> say. 
With cupids, they can build one that will let everyone share what Wakanda and I have. You can do it. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up for Bridges. A network that could unite everyone. No matter how scattered or different. That can make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold. Where they would share and share alike. It would be about bringing them into the fold where they would share, share alike. I knew it could change the world. With Alma's help, we finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Lockno wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. <clears throat> I can feel her again. She's close. Thank you, Sam. I feel hope. Okay. <sighs> you and me, sis. Me and me. to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say it anymore. Lockman. You need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Now, make the world whole. Okay? Just like you make me.
all that she went through, I had no idea. I thought... I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her car passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're one. Like before in the womb, remember? Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna, your work will help ensure that the Chiron Network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but the languages, the names, and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Hello? Ooh! Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. 
towards you, sir. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this'll work? <laughs> of course! One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again! <laughs> And this is why I hate these things. Ugh. Uh, Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach. But now your BB has added insult to injury. Just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret, on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. 
What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Brian, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo Network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Hmm. That man tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Emily's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, You'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Deadman restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hollywood. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the Cairo network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You will have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Sam? You read me? Um, Lochna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. Hmm? A delivery? Oh, good. Excellent. 
everything appears to be in perfect condition. There's something I've been meaning to ask. Would you help me join the UCA? If me being a part of it ensures more people get the medical attention they require, then it's well worth the hassle. Thank you for that. I might not be as young as I once was, but I've still got plenty to offer. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more than welcome to it. Your deliveries have saved lives. And, as you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to do with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. I see you've put another shelter on the network. Nice job. Chiral levels are increasing as predicted, which is good. As for BB-28, you'll be pleased to hear the operation went well. There should be no need for additional major procedures. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think it's safe to say that the worst is behind us. All that remains is to continue expanding the network, monitor changes as chiral levels increase, and make adjustments as necessary. Drug therapy should suffice. Keep it up, Sam. I hear you're the one to talk to about the chiral network. Is it true that a contract will let me access your schematics and so forth? I want to share my research with everyone. Let them read it. Let them learn from it, like I learned from their work. Make me a part of the UCA. Very good, very good. Guess we're in this together now, Sam. I'd love to show you around the place, but it's a terrible mess. Thanks, Sam. BB-28 appears to be on the road to recovery. Its affinity with the other side is growing stronger, as we hoped. The convulsions and spasms have ceased as well. I know it's tough out there without a BB, but you've got to keep on fighting the good fight. Just like the kid is. Just like BB-28 is. Sam, we've received an order from a new client. Check the terminal in Mountain Knot City for the details. And do it soon. Sounds like someone is in need of medicine. Thank you. I gave her the medicine. She says she's feeling better already. But I'm not kidding myself. Even if they did work that fast, the doctor said she needs a lot more than antibiotics. She's carrying our child. I want her looked at as soon as possible. Please, I need you to go to the doctor for me. He's got some kind of machine, thinks it might help. I, I couldn't make out the details. Damn connection kept dropping out. But someone needs to go and fetch it. Take anything you need from that shelf. Hell, just take all of it. There you are. The Mountaineer just contacted me. The treatment I prescribed isn't working. We need to act fast. I hope the antibiotics would alleviate the worst of the symptoms, but it looks like we're past that stage. An infection like this so late in the pregnancy can cause any number of complications. Even if she survives, there is a risk she could suffer brain damage, even brain death. Now, I need you to deliver this prototype bioprinter and remote medical terminal to the Mountaineer. If you can connect them to me via the chiral network, I can use this equipment to diagnose the patient's condition and provide treatment. The terminal will allow them to transmit their genetic code, with which I can formulate a DNA vaccine for printing. At present, only vaccines utilizing viruses and other non-living components can be generated in this fashion, but future advancements may free us of this limitation. It should go without saying, but this is delicate equipment. Don't break it, whatever you do. Oh, and, uh, thank you. You're here. Oh, thank God. She's barely holding on. It's a good thing you hurried. The doctor said we need a chiral connection for this to work. 
So, hook us up. We'll join the UCA, whatever it takes. Go ahead. Doctor? Uh, okay, I'll I'll activate the terminal from my end. Just just a moment. Everything's gonna be alright. With this device, I I can examine her as if I were actually there. The manipulators on the terminal perfectly reflect my movements here. And with the bioprinter, I can provide a custom-made vaccine. It's just a shame my better half hasn't had a chance to build any more of these things. You're looking at the only ones we have. Don't worry, though. We'll do everything we can to ensure your child is safely delivered. Oh, thank you. This is... this is incredible. You should thank him. The network he's helping to build is going to change the face of medicine forever. All right. Let's have a look at you. You've brought us the next best thing to a live-in, Dr. Sam. Thank you so much. Nicely done. BB-28 will be back in action soon. The kid's a real trooper. Stay the course, Sam. Heads up, Sam. Got a fresh order for you from a certain mountaineer. It'll take you to a region not yet covered by the chiral network. Suffice it to say, this is a chance to change that. Look into it as soon as you can. Never thought I'd receive a delivery in such excellent condition. Hey, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And... Not long ago, I found something, something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for, even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion, someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So, I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery. Took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men, and I panicked, dropped everything, and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me, but when I stopped running, I realized the camera was gone, case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered that the cargo tag was still on the case, and I figured you being with bridges and all, that you might have a way to pinpoint its location. Please, I'd give anything to have it back. I'm gonna put in the order. Please understand, that camera means everything to me. Until I know it's safe, I can't think about anything else. There's a terminal there you can use if you want to get started right away. Here. It's what I'd take if I were going myself. Knock yourself out. It was my father's idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. And we were right behind him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, the camera would be gone, and all our hard work would have been lost before anyone had a chance to see it. We can't let that happen. The world needs to hear about this. Someone out there will know what it means. So, connect us up. We want to be a part of the UCA. I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again before too long. Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contains some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations, and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals, or other precursors, who were migrating across the continent. 
See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artist possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer, they couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind, that it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that BB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more site, that's all we should need. Good luck. She's a strange bird. It lives even higher up in the clouds than we do. And the research she's doing? Well, it's out there, and then some. And we're talking straight up occult stuff, though she wouldn't be very happy hearing me say so. And she claims she's delving into the mysteries of the cosmos. Anyway, I found this rock out in the mountains with a handprint on it. And when I mentioned it to her, she got all excited. I honestly don't know what kind of close encounter she thinks it signifies. But I was wondering if you could bring it to her for me. And joining the UCA has opened my eyes to a few things. Like how there are all these people out there trying to make sense of the Death Stranding in their own way. And sure, her ideas may sound like the ravings of a lunatic to me, but they clearly mean something to her, and I'd like to help her out. With your assistance, that is. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Sam. It's just like the one at South Knot City. A vortex loaded with so much Chiralium that it's almost off the charts. Slowly but surely, it's creeping closer to us here in Mountain Knot. At least that's what I think, but I can't see it. Not with the naked eye. But the data doesn't lie. It's the same temporal phenomenon that you told me dropped you in a war zone. I told you. But that wasn't. The Cupid's Limiter can handle most Chiral Spikes, but we didn't plan for another supercell. Another supercell. I told you it was the same as before. Mama, is that you? You got me, Sam. It's been a while. But not really. Malingan, Lochna, we're the same. One body, one mind, one being. There's no point in trying to draw a distinction. Not in this world. We're all connected. Remember that. Sam Bridges. I've been expecting you. The Mountaineer told me all about you. This handprint you brought me, or stenciled as I prefer to call it, is a vital clue. It hails from an era long before the dawn of human history. I'm going to date it and lay bare the cause of the Death Stranding. And when I do, all the secrets of the cosmos shall be revealed. Uh, did you know this mountain used to be a pyramid in ancient times? <laughs> it's true. You won't find a place closer to the beach than this. To the wellspring, a source of untold power. How else do you think that chiral network of yours works? But I digress. Show me the stencil. Thank you. It's in excellent condition. All right. 
Connect me to the chiral network. Now I have everything I need to date the stencil. Once I have my results, I'll share them with you and your colleagues at Bridges. You've done a good thing, Sam. If you find anything else, be sure to bring it straight to me. I'll be waiting. You should take this. I'm certain that it will be of use to you in your journey. Until we meet again, my friend. Sam, it worked. BB-28 is in excellent condition. No evidence of lingering attachments or homesickness either. Perhaps its memory was erased after all. All that remains is for you to hook it up and take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but... Uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do. But it's a little more complicated than that. What? We've got a problem. You may have heard about the massive supercell heading right for Mountain Knot City. I left my facility to perform some additional tests on the BB in the field, and now I find myself unable to return. You know the cabin on the mountainside, northeast of Mountain Knot? Let's meet there.
Sam! Sam! Dead man. Oh, thank God I got through. Where are you? No idea. I'm seeing tanks and soldiers. The uniforms date back over a century. World War II era, I suspect. Did you see the man leading the soldiers? No. I think it's the guy you told us about. The born and bred warrior asshole who's gunning for BB? He must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip-top shape, just waiting for you. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole. A square tower, right above my position. Gotcha. I'll find it and search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. Oh, fuck me. Right. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Oh, no. Hurry the hell up, Sam. Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. You'll lead him straight to you. Oh, boy. Not that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... Uh... Mm, you won't. I'm ending the call. Sam. It's not easy being me. No wife, no children, no friends. And so I sought solace. Sought company in the dead. Over time, I made them a part of me. 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. You're very special, Sam. Sam, over here. Sam. No. The little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, well then. <laughs> Maybe this is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. So, do you still share memories? <sighs> I see. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down as you get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. But we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? <sighs> Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Lou, huh? That's a good name.
is this all my fault? I should, I should never have put you in that prison. little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. That child's taking a shine to me. <sighs> you two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. <laughs> Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd had made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A boy out. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map leaving nothing but a big crater and him. Because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. Take a seat. Uh, 
I told you before about my body. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless meat puppet. No ka, a dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother. No afterlife. No beach. You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it. Because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone, anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on, even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. <laughs> As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, Exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it, but if you can connect me to the Chiral Network, who knows what we might discover. Can I help you? Holy shit. John, is that you? What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat it last year. I'm 
so sorry. I didn't know you were done. Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Beyond it is Edgenon City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I for one would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say... One minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Malingan special. Be funny if these ha of ours ended up being the key to saving us all. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. It stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. 
60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater, my wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, 
resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. No luck. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films? You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. All from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime. Nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> Thank you.
The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? My wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey! It's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please! Don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while, and when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain <laughs> lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here, and here alone. You see, hiding in the Earth, then, are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot Still a knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths.
Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mantle absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evodevil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now, and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So, we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Sam, so, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death, extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> Bridges. Oh, thank God for that. I, I was worried you might not get here in time. But then I've done nothing but worry of late. I I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff? 
I put the nightmares down to fatigue. The uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Oh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. Oh, yes. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the Chiral Network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. You can set up the chiral network while I work. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the Big Five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close, 
so very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Ah, oh, you found it. Uh, let, let me see. I, I have to see it. Oh my, it really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily, even. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable. And that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. I'm impressed, Sam. Not many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. Now. Connect me to the Chiral Network. That's where my studies will truly begin. Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made for every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child. 
but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes, and there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The court shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean, they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five. 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right, how's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No, only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, 
all without exception, found with strands. Which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, EEs are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Hicks said Amelie's an EE, that she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for EE powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an EE. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. All right. Security measures. Five, four, three, two, one. It's time, Sam. When you're ready, proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Once it's ready, Use the Cupid to bring it online. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot, too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. It's about time for his wake-up call anyway. Administering shock. Stand clear. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the tar belt. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. But this time, it's our best shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armony. We're counting on you, Sam. Sam, you should be nearing the old building site. Look for the terminal and submit your materials for processing. Sam, you need to get those materials processed in order to finish the chiral relay. Good job, Sam. Now access the terminal and bring the relay online.
across the tar belt, the end will be in sight. We're this close to Emily, to America's second chance. Edgenot City awaits. The staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Over time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. In doing so, they'll carry on the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar belt. <laughs> scare the poor girl away, do you? She's in there. I can smell her. Of course, I wouldn't have known for sure if it wasn't for you and your wonderful network. <laughs> Bless your heart. Um, thank you kindly. either. There's your boss man, and that woman, and, oh, let's 
not forget little old you. Okay, it's okay. I know it ain't easy wearing a mask all the time. Now the mask can come off, right? You remember this? No, no, no. Mmm. Poor sweet Amelie. She's holed up in the beach nearby. Tell you what, what say we make it a race? Hmm? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. But I wonder... When you look death in her eye... Will you blink? Still with me, Sam? Even now, our way forward, our way to save Amelie, is the same as always. Your first priority is to get the local distro center on the network. Until it's complete and everybody's connected, Higgs won't find it easy to get to Amelie. She should be safe. So take your time, and do it right. What's the holdup, Sam? Connect your Cupid to the terminal and bring the site online. Good work, Sam. You've made it as far as Bridges One ever did. We never pushed further west. Frankly, it's a miracle we kept that distro center running. Anyway, you're almost at Edgenot City. Your final destination, where Amelie should be waiting. Smile, Sam. Only one more knot to go. One last time to put that Cupid to use. Though you'll need another component to finish the job. Regardless, the nationwide network will serve as your ticket home. Just bear in mind that by bringing Edge not online, you'll likely be revealing Emily's location to Higgs. You'll need to get to her before he does. Head to your private room and get your gear sorted. When you're ready to go, we'll give you what you need. Make sure not to leave the distro center without taking the order. Sam? Are you there? Amelie? Can you hear me? Sam! Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. I'm late. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. So don't worry. Get the last Cupid to Edge Knot City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the Distro Center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. <gasps> Sam. Promise? 
Please, you'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie? Amelie!
day is ending. Let that yawn out. There's no pretending. I will hold you and protect you. Let Extinctions each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Now, I'm not talking about the death of a few dozen species, no. This? This is the granddaddy of them all. BT antimatter avoiding out all life as we know it. And it wouldn't be possible. Not a Boy Scout like you, willing to make us whole again. <laughs> what do you say? Come on! Time to meet your ender. Homily? into a single shore. And then... will come an extinction like no other. More massive than any before it. The last. This is my purpose. What the hell they do to you? <laughs> The last stranding, my reason for being, the first, was nothing more than a prelude. Surely you figured it out. Do people like us? She's the source of it all! Nightmares that haunt us, the visions of an inescapable future. Sound familiar? Happy fucking doomsday, Sam! Fuck you! You get it. You can speed this up or slow it down, but you cannot stop what we've started. <laughs> Even if you beat me, you can't save her. It's all this. This is a done deal.
I'm a lead. I'm a lead. She's fine. Extinction's on hold for now. Let her go! All that for a repatriate. What a waste. Pick this up when you're done dying. Heads! I'll see you on the beach for the grand finale. Higgs wants to connect the knots of your network with Amelie's beach. So it's pretty clear where they went. So how do we get there? I can't. But you and Amelie have a strong connection. You've been to her beach plenty of times, right? Mm. You can make the jump. You gonna come through for me? I'll try to take him alive. Promise me. I'm the one who finishes him off. Good. Then I'll help you get where you need to go. I can send us both at once. But I'll be right behind you. I thought you said you couldn't go to her. I can. But I can go to you. the ties that bind us together. The Dreamcatcher will lead you to her. And then? The Misonga will lead me to you. You're going in like that? Yeah, I don't need a weapon. I'm not gonna take Lou either. What? Do you have anything to eat? Oh. <laughs> Got you hooked, huh? Sam, 
Be careful. Worst comes to worst. Take care of Lou, all right? For this to work, I'll have to touch you. Close your eyes. Now picture Amini in her beach. You love her, right? You love her. Here it is. Amelie? Sam? What are you doing here? You ready to end this? Before the end of everything? I'm supposed to do keep the extinction entity safe until the slate is wiped clean. There's no stopping the sixth extinction. No matter what you, me, or anybody else does, humanity has a few hundred thousand years left tops. Why don't we just cut to the chase? Accept our fate. Let the creatures before us. We all know what's coming. Why delay the inevitable? Those of us with dooms, her, we're all bound here for a reason. We are all of us a part of the death strand. In this place, this fucking beach. There's no repatriation here. One of us dies, that's it. He goes to the other side. It's nice, huh? Lucky loser gets to put an end to this rinse and repeat bullshit once and for all. So, no BTs, no void outs, no bullshit. Just a good old fashioned boss fight. Stick versus rope. Done. Versus strength. One more ending before the end. One last game over.
We got dooms, Sam. This was only ever gonna end one way. So come on! Touchy feely there, Mr. Often Phobia. <laughs> well, congratulations. You won the game. Too bad you didn't stop. Well, get on with it. <laughs> Fragile. Guess I left a lasting impression. I'm fragile. I'm not that fresh you. This time you're the one who's going to break. Is that right? I think you'll find our bond is made of stronger stuff. Already broken. The fuck? I'm Higgs. I'm the particle of God that permeates all existence. What are you? Honey, you ain't nothing but damaged goods. You are damaged goods. There you go. That's promised. Thanks.
I brought you a metaphor. Take it with you. Tell the lie first with Porter Syndrome what happens when you hide behind the mask. No. You keep it. It's better they hear it from the woman herself. One more thing. Your little one managed to bring it here by picturing it as equipment. You mind? Babysitting sucks. So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Chiral Network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Lucky him. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. Better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. Wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. Nothing left to say. So long, Sam. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. Do you still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want... What I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? Tell me the truth. Was this all for you or all for Bridget? This is for our country. For our future, that is the truth. There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? Did you lie? Fuck me. You have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross the continent for. A reason to build the UCA. It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. <laughs> Are you right? I never gave a shit about this country. I have no ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. But it all worked out in the end. I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. Let's go home. How do we do it? Do we jump like fragile? No. The beach goes the whole way. We run together. Run? <sighs> yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach.
Wait here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sorry. <laughs> Give me back my BB. You're looking in the wrong place.
<laughs> it's me. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Where am I? Back east of the tar belt. Your private room. You have Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then... gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach. Couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry. We didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well, it would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone, and Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe, here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? <sighs> Sam. You helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part. Fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow. If tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Amelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same. But neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course. But believe me when I say, it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is new. Mama. No, no Lochner. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. <laughs> Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, 
There's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie. Straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin. The price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Amelie and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. oh. <laughs> Finders keepers. Now, get out of there. And make sure you head east, towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Gross. One of a kind. A baby cat did. Either that or a sacrifice. A foundation. A bridge. Sam, it's Hartman. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. No doubt the beach is to blame. BTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways. Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative, whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret, I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. Sam, you're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BB experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. 
any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just the cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan, making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, but I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The Chiral Network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Hey Sam, I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation, but I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges, towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. -E. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Got a moment, Sam? It's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single, massive scene. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane, that was responsible for setting this process in motion and what if the beach in question were none other than Armelie's? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelie's beach, to exploit its power over every other beach, and trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions, which is why 
You have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, he'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed.
Amy. We're getting out of here. I promise. Give me back my baby. Are you clear of hunger? They told me your name was Sam Porter. But you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. together. You are their bridge to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up. and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Okay. I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Nott City. How'd I wind up here then? Remember, Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my baby. 
Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. It didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. Like you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. Them and Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first. Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes. Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We've touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you. I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes. But on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Emily was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE -E theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if 
she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. Yeah, I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, Seth. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist void outs, the whole extinction agenda, Amelie was behind it all. Like hell she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. He's turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod. And there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Rigid? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants, 
And why? If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. Oh. She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east. Unstable, so I'll keep this short. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. She needs cryptobiotes fast. Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port North City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam, this is critical. You know what day it is today, baby? Today would be a very special day if your mommy had one. You're not born yet. But the more candles, the merrier, right? Soon it'll be time for you to come out into the real world. I promise. And then, we can have a real party. Well, happy birthday. We've been getting near constant timefall in this region for a while now. As a result, everything you've built for us out here has been completely destroyed. The good news is, we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the capital Not City Distro Center. As for the not-so-good news, chiral printers are currently unusable due to the network instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. I'm sure you'll come through for us. You always do. all over. Thank heavens you made it. Fragile's been in a coma for a while now. But with all these cryptobiomes you brought, we should be able to bring her round. And with any luck, it 
It'll only take a few more to get her back on her feet. You did well, Sam. Sam. You're back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hard men too? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward, similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Hungry. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? Anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The Great Deliver, the only one who can reach Amelie's Beach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's Beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary, but Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? <clears throat> this is only a theory, but... She wants you, wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE and this is her end game. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. 
That about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world, but you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. As well make it official then. You ready to deliver the package? I'll talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still, if it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. Well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. I thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. I started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kid's done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health. Help me look for Emily. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her!
bridges falling down, falling down, falling down, London bridges falling down, my fair The last stranding has already begun. Amelie? You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I've been waiting for you. Right here, ever since. You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been? Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist? Not in your world. I'm sorry, Sam. to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's this supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget, those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. I was getting shot, one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So. That brings us to your first choice. 
do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame wings out. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left anyone. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain. Knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. You kept it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope, or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? again and when the time comes you'll have to stop me you are the only one who can promise you'll remember Sam I'll be waiting for you on the beach I remember you knew you always knew I did and I didn't I had so many dreams of the future I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a lion. 
I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible. To live life one day at a time. Gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam. I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. If I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I... I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. Sounds like hell. <laughs> but you and the others came together, connected. And you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an ending. It's an opportunity. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <sighs> Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play.
quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. The first operation. I was only 20. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my ha in that one. Amelie, my ka in this. of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Amelie. Am um, is French for soul. <sighs> A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead. Which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself. Including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So. I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. 
But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha uh, had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha uh, was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve. Like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know? I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. I pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. You want to go home? Let's go home. I wanted... I wanted to set you free from death once and for all. It's okay. I know the way. But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, a death stranding occurred. 
The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. One that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. Still connected. For too long have we lived as strangers to one another, divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation, a new nation for a new world, the United Cities of America. 
I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow, a constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great! Now, wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, 
This is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. I'm away. She said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common-law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it, by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the president, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The President's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him. But I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He, the captain, saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home, every time. And I loved him. 
as much as I loved her. <laughs> And when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? Why didn't he? He couldn't save his... his kid. His baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he... He saw I was trying... to do my part... for America. He remembered... who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dad, God! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, maybe this is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No, he didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing, now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Incinerator. Uh, 
Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. All right. Absolutely. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry. I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait. There's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile. But not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Wanna come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Sam! We're here. You still with me, though? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Well, thanks for everything. Special. 
one of a kind. A BB cannon. Either that or... A sacrifice. A foundation. A bridge. Brought you an astronaut. Mankind can go anywhere, even out of space. You'll be out of there in no time. And the second all this is over, I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. You? Captain, what are you doing here? My wife's checked in. They don't want a repeat of last year. The void out in Manhattan. I didn't know you were the husband. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save Bibi. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Is this a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me? I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. The President gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk. Off the record. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir, again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt. They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists.
I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. This belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. System won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. The alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, tops. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. Sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. I promise you. Just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. 
If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Thank <sighs> you. 
I'm sorry, Lisa. I screwed it up. I've ruined everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. But he's in there, sir. I saw him. You saw him. Now step the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it up. He's inside. Move, dumbass. Don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. See the sunset. The day is ending Let that yawn out There's no pretending I will hold you And protect you So let me warn you My 
son. My bridge to the future. Without you, I was just like any other cliff. Dead end. No way forward. Nothing but an obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. Dividing people was the only thing I was ever good at. BB too.
I know the way.
Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Well, look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized, and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ah, not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out, make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you wanted. Might do you good to get back in the game. You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's Beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. So you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at a damaged facility should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the line if you need us. And if you want some alone time, we should be able to manage for now. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, all right? See you then. Hey, Sam, you sure you don't have any unfinished business? <laughs>